Okay, good morning, everyone. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Aloha and welcome, parents Ohana, Kumu and Hamana to our third trimester celebration assembly. We're so glad that you could join us. As we continue to practice our safety protocols, we appreciate all of you joining us online. Kahu Kenji will start our assembly with you. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> please uh, join me in Pule. Hey, pule Kako. Heavenly Father, uh, we thank you so very much uh, for this time, for, for providing this day, uh, for bringing us through um, the end of a, a year filled with lots of transitions and changes. Um, Father, thank you for uh, this time that we get to spend together with our Kulavaina Ohana, um, with our Keiki, uh, with our Makua, uh, with all of our kumu uh, to celebrate uh, the growth of our almana father as uh, we see him grow uh, to be better and better uh, um, we pray a uh, blessing over this time we spend together pray these things in Jesus name amen Dr. Corcoran will give her mana'o to begin our assembly aloha mai kako in this final month of school, we have focused on the value of ho'omo or perseverance. And even in English, oops, sorry. <laughs> even in English, I wondered, what does that really mean? And so I looked it up. Oh, let me scoop here. All right. To persevere means to persist in doing something despite difficulty or delayed success. And so today at our trimester celebration, we honor many of you who have totally demonstrated just that. This has certainly been a year like no other, but despite all of the difficulties, you kept on going. You continued to wake up every morning to get online for classes. You came to Zoom recesses so you could challenge me in the game room you became the most skilled at canvas. You played hours of volleyball in muddy grass. You bonded with friends who are in your cohort. You used up entire bottles of hand sanitizer and you kept learning so that you could pass successfully to the next grade level. So a ho'omai ka'i to each of you for living ho'omau making this one of our most memorable school years ever. Well, your kupuna might have told you stories like, when I was your age, I had to walk to school every day and I had to walk uphill both ways. Well, when you become a kupuna, you can tell your mo'opuna about how you had to run for miles in PE while wearing a mask or how you became a Kulawaina Food Network star as you recorded yourself cooking maka'olelo Hawaii, or how you had to pound poi with a mug because that's all you had. It was tough, but you did it. And your kumu and I are all so very proud of you. We know that this quality of ho'omo is what gives you the OEV edge and will help you to eola, to thrive no matter what life throws at you. So mahalo for doing and being your best through these difficult times. Imua kamehameha. Mahalo Dr. Corcoran. We will now start our awards with Mrs. Achong who will present the ASKMS Awards. Okay, before I get started, I'm going to share my screen here so that I can show you their picture. And these are our awesome officers that have worked really, really hard this year. It's, it's been a difficult year, <clears throat> which all of you know, it started off online and they had to get really creative with how we could still have activities and see each other and have some fun 
and they worked hard to come up with ideas to be able to get all of the middle school involved. And we were so excited that most of you were showing up and having a good time doing the challenges and playing the games and winning prizes that we were able to mail home to you. And then as things started to get a little bit better, they were so willing to come in and with their masks and safety protocols, we were able to make goodie bags to be able to pass out as all of you came through. And, and then back on campus, we were so thrilled to be able to start getting together again. And they had to come up with ways to have activities that you could still be in your cohorts and, and participate and yet still be running all over the campus and have a good time. And so I just, Mahalo each and every one of these officers for their really hard work this year. Um, I've enjoyed working with them, even though sometimes it was at a distance. We've created a bond and it's, you know, for me, Mrs. Achong gets emotional every year. So it gets hard to say goodbye to these really strong leaders. I'm thrilled to say that half of them will be on our board next year. So I get to continue working with them. And we mahalo our eighth graders as they move on to high school. And we wish them the best. We know that they're gonna be amazing. So, so I stop all these tears. I'm gonna show you what I'm presenting. So our class of 2027, our vice president is Behiva Gaparo, I'm gonna stop sharing. Maybe she can wave or say something so that we can see her. Behiva, say hello. She, uh, my apologies, we're on as a whole class, so she's not <laughs> able to. Nancy, okay, we'll just keep going. A class of 2027, President Oli'i Paleka, Class of 2026, Vice President Shea Beals. Class of 2026, President Ethan Liu. Class of 2025, she took this on because unfortunately her Vice President was no longer with us, but Kaylee Cook did a, an amazing job. And our ASKMS officers, our Treasurer Julie Nationalis, our secretary, Sophia Kuyakuzan, our vice president, Madison Myers, and our president, Oliliu Wise. All of them will be receiving a plaque and our president will receive a gavel and her name will also be put on our perpetual plaque. So they'll be receiving these today before they go home for summer vacation. Um, I'd also like to announce that Madison Myers will be our ASKMS president for next year. And Ethan Liu will be the vice president. Um, and Vehiva Gaparo will be our treasurer. And who else? Shay Beals will be the secretary. And Oli'i Paleka will be the president of her seventh grade class. So congratulations to all of you. And again, thank you so much for a wonderful year. Mahalo, Mr. Chong. The character awards will now be presented by each grade level's team leader and kumu. These awards are based on the EOLA learner outcomes and are given to students that exemplify these values and characteristics. There are six EOLA awards, Ike Kupuna, Aloha Aina, Kupono, Malama, and Kuleana, Alaka Ilave Lave, and Kulia. We will start with the sixth grade Kumu to present the sixth grade awards, followed by seventh and then eighth.
Aloha mai kako. My name is Mrs. Lee, and I have the honor of presenting the first award for sixth grade today. And that award goes to Isabel Hutchins, and it is our Kupuno Award. A person's words, thoughts, and actions reveal what is valued. It is clear that Isabel Hutchins values integrity, kindness, hard work, and humility. Her behavior is unwavering in the winds of peer pressure and temptation. This higher road of moral conduct is pa'a because Isabel knows what is important to her overall success and well-being. Mahalo for being a role model and inspiration for your peers, kumu, and community. Ho'o mai ka'i. All right, the next um, il award for Kupono, for Papa Iono, goes to Kaiden Kaluahine Salmo. Kaiden joined us mid-year from the ASU program and I immediately noticed his quiet nature. But what I discovered was that this was actually a representation of how considerate of a student he was. Kaiden is not only kind and considerate of others, but he also carefully considers each situation before acting, ensuring Pono choices. Kaiden reminds us that taking a moment to consider our choices and their impacts before acting is an important part of practicing kupono. Mahalo Kaiden for being an example for others and congratulations for receiving the Eolo Award for Kupono. Our third kupono recipient is Noah Lee. There is no doubt that this student's character is solid. He is so grounded as a student, as a friend, as a classmate, as an entire person. In his own unique, rather dry and witty way, Noah Lee has shared his aloha with everyone around him. He never discriminates between his small friends group and the entire class. I never have worried about Noah being able to work with others because he has a knack for working with everyone in his unwavering Noah way. As his kumu, I have had the pleasure of working with a very mature young man who takes pride in his work, is always honest and fair, and even keeps me as his kumu in check, which I truly appreciate because it tells me that we have a mutual respect for each other. Ho'o mai ka'i noa for demonstrating kupono all year long. Uh, this trimester is the Ola Award recipient for Malama and Kuliana, demonstrates these values on a daily basis and his actions are an example that positively influences the, his peers. Hayes Coloma is a person always ready to help those around him while consistently taking care of his own Kuliana. In group and class activities, he actively works to include his classmates, include his classmates while working to accomplish his own objectives. He knows when to speak up and within his group will ask when others aren't as comfortable asking for help. His actions are one of those who cares not only for his success, but for those of the group. In person, Hayes is quick to greet you at the beginning of class and talk star with you during breaks. He is a pleasure to have in class and a great example of the values of Malama and Kuliana. So mahalo Hayes. That's me now, can you go? Huh? Okay, I have the privilege of um, announcing the Ala Ka'i Lava Lava Award to Kiana Pao. Kiana is an incredible servant leader. I love seeing how she encourages her peers. She notices value in others. She is very aware of her responsibilities and takes them seriously. Kiana is always willing to help her peers when they need assistance. For example, she offered to go to the pool with a friend who wanted extra swimming instruction so she could be there to support her. She also wanted to try to improve on her own swimming technique, even though swimming classes were basically over. I really appreci appreciate her and I'm very proud of her effort and accomplishments. Mahalo Kiana.
Aloha Kako. I guess you can't see me. <laughs> um, so I have the privilege of uh, giving the um, award for Kulia. And this is to Maluhia O'Brien. Um, Kulia means excellence. The student has demonstrated Kulia this year by striving for excellence in all his endeavors. He carefully chose the appropriate courses of action that built up his ike and his mana to be able to show a mindfulness, mindfulness of excellence, bringing mana to himself as his, his classmates and his ohana. He makalehua no oi, no ko onehana. Ho maika ia oi e maluhia O'Brien. Ha heo ho ina ho ia ya oi. He ho mana ku ike kulia. Mahalo. Aloha mai kako. I am so honored to present uh, the next Kulia Award to Peyton Quinn. Can I see Peyton on screen? Peyton, give us a aloha wave to everybody. Peyton has been uh, in the ASU, the Arizona State University's digital learning cohort this entire school year and has shown extraordinary discipline, focus and follow through managing her koleana independently and always striving to stay ahead of her koleana and do her very best. She, the students in ASU had to pace out assignments on their own and she was always ahead of the game in most of her classes, like months ahead of the due dates and manage that and continue that throughout the whole school year. And um, even though students are not required to meet with me every week, she would come regularly and meet with me and would play games. And she was quite um, most oftentimes the winner of all of our games, uh, but we mahalo her so much for her persistence and for um, reaching for the top in awe that she did this year. So mai ka iloa and ho'o mai ka ia oi e Peyton. Aloha. Oops. Aloha. I'm pleased to honor Keely Nahe Airhorn. Keely Nahe is an insightful, funny, observant, and very real, which adds so much life to our classroom. But she is also a haumana who carries her kupuna with her always. This sense of ohana guides her in her daily approach to life, making her a leader in ike kupuna. Ho'omaikai e kilinahi. Good morning, everyone. I have the honor of I have the honor of sharing with you the recipient for Aloha Aina Award, which is Davidin Cabreros. This Kanaka is always smiling and has the ability to make others laugh as well. And yet with his curiosity and questioning, Davidin makes you ponder ideas. His thirst for Ike about his culture, as well as the Aina and Kai are evident. On a recent assignment, Davidin did an exceptional job on his exploration Na Me'e Aloha Aina research, which allowed him to dive into the topic of overfishing in the waters of our Pae Aina. He also enjoys telling his Ohana fishing stories as a pastime. His genuine enthusiasm for the Aina makes this Haumana truly deserving of the Aloha Aina Award. E ho mai ka'i, Davidin. I am honored to give the Kupono Award to Kuhau P.O. Pratt. Kuhau P.O. is a genuine, genuinely nice human whose sense of Pono guides his every action. He was a wonderful addition to Papa Seven upon returning to face-to-face -face learning in January. 
Kuhokio quickly adjusted to Kulabaina and reestablished relationships with his peers. His easygoing ways, warm smile, and kindness to all make to all make Haumana and Kumu alike feel appreciated and welcomed daily. Congratulations, Kuhokio. Aloha mai kako. I have the honor of giving the Malama and Kuleana Award this trimester to Kali Hiva Chong. Kali consistently shows Malama to her peers and for her own Kuleana. Kali has demonstrated the core qualities of a student who appreciates every assignment and does it with diligence and thoughtfulness to produce work that is always thoroughly completed and always on time. Her strong work ethic and unusual depth and commitment to each of her classes serves as an example to her peers. Kali, congratulations. Aloha Kako, the recipient of the Trimester 3 Alaka'i Lave Lave Award is Koali Ito. This Almana consistently demonstrates leadership while elevating her peers. She also goes above and beyond to lend kokua to, a, to anyone in need. Koali is often the first to recognize when someone has a need and then she quickly comes to their aid. She can be counted on to serve her classmates in Kumu to keep class discussions going by volunteering an answer that may spur others to follow with their answer. She is curious and seeks excellence in all that she does. Her uncanny ability to get right to the nucleus of critical ideas and her ability to explain challenging ideas to her peers definitely makes this Hamana a true servant leader. A ho'omai ka'i koale. I would like to congratulate Cameron Grace upon winning the Kulia Award for trimester three. Cameron is a student who consistently shows commitment to doing her best at all times, always putting forth exemplary effort and going beyond what is expected. Cameron's quest for excellence drives her, but it also elevates her peers and she has been an amazing influence on her cohort this year. My kailoa a Cameron. Aloha mai kako. Can you hear me? I, okay. Uh, it is my great privilege to announce and award the Ike Kupuna um, honor to Sean Self Ayi. Sean provides great insights on his experience and in connecting these experiences to course content. He reflects on previous knowledge and contributes to classroom discussions. Sean is able to communicate the value of vahipana in ka'u on the family, on society, and on sustainability, economic, environmental, and political levels. In other words, he can express his experience, his values, and needs as an oivi in today's world. He is also knowledgeable and hungry for more ike on government. Sean has great potential as a scholar, leader, protector, or in any career he chooses. We are proud to honor him with the award for Ike Kupuna. Aloha uh, this is Kumu DJ, and I'll be announcing our eighth grade Kupuna recipient. Um, this year's recipient, or this trimester's recipient is Kamaile Carvalho. Uh, Kamaile is always a pleasure to be around. She's respectful and takes responsibility for her learning. If she needs help, she'll always ask for it uh, and, and can always ask if someone does so. Uh, when others can be distracted, Kumu can count on Kamaile to be focused and attentive as she shows alert with her body language and studious eyes. Kamaile chooses to focus on the positive. For example, in one essay, she highlighted the kindness of a boy who stood up to someone who was putting him down for losing a video game to a girl. 
She called out how pono it is to respect a win from any gender and to treat girls and boys as worthy competitors. Kamaila exemplifies the kindness and kupono behavior she brings out in others. We are honored to present her with the award for kupono. It is my honor to present another kupono award to William Henderson. William demonstrates honorable character in how he engages with his kumu as well as his peers. He conducts himself with humility as well as aloha for himself and others. Humility or ha'aha'a -ha -ha is not the most common trait found in middle school students, yet this individual has a way of downplaying his achievements and abilities. He will not be the first to tell everyone that he won their game yesterday or aced a quiz. The student carries himself with integrity and kindness and has always been a trustworthy person. Will Henderson is our worthy honoree for the Kupono Eola Award. Our trimester three recipient for the award for Malama and Kuleana is Kuhao Regidor. Kuhao has voiced a keen interest in social justice. He actively researches and informs himself about local and national issues related to social and racial injustices and justice. Uh, his future goals are to serve this purpose and to help those whose voices need advocacy in these efforts. Kuhao carries himself with dignity. His approach to problems such as name calling and slurs is not to respond with anger, but to hold himself as a worthy person and explain why and how we should use our voices to value all people. He also shows this by helping others, whether it is taking on extra work to kokua e kumu or simply tidying up after himself before leaving. Kuhao is always mindful of those around him. Over the last two years, we've had the privilege to watch the student grow in their capacity to think beyond themselves. Their love for the community is without question we are proud to give Kuhao Regidor the Malama and Kuleana Award. The eighth grade Alaka'i Lave Lave Award goes this trimester to JC Morales. JC has learned what it means to be a servant leader. Many students are equipped with the skills and talents to lead, but not all have mastered the trick of knowing also when to take a step back. JC is always willing to kokua. For example, during high school registration, without being asked, she helped her classmates to navigate the course selection website. She passed on knowledge her older sister shared with her about the courses and helped to troubleshoot computer problems her classmates experienced. This student has grown in her capacity to work with others, encourage them, and bring out the best in a team. Her ability to have empathy for others has been an asset to our class. We are pleased to recognize JC Morales for the Alaka'i Lave Lave Award. Uh, our first Kulia Award goes to Shazin Montezor. Shazin is quiet yet a hardworking student who strives for excellence in everything that she does. It is common for her to review notes and prepare her thinking prior to the start of class. She sets a high standard for herself on her assignments and does not overlook any of the small details. Sometimes her handwritten timelines and notes look like color coordinated spreadsheets. This gives her a reputation for someone who exceeds Kumu expectation on rigorous work. Shazen is a student who has constantly shown excellence in her efforts throughout the school year. Congratulations, Shazen. Finally, we would like to present award for Kulia for our distance learning student, Everton Kayao Kuamo'o. Kayao has participated in the ASU um, program since the start of this school year. He consistently demonstrates excellence as he exemplifies the term putting in the work. Kayao has consistently averaged above 90% while in a full distance learning experience with teachers and peers from around the continent. He is able to manage high grades and sports while attending guidance lessons and monitoring meetings via Zoom. Congratulations, Kayao Kuomo'o for Kulia. Congratulations to all those receiving awards today. We know that many of you will receive the Po'o Kumu and Po'o Kula Awards as well after third trimester grades have been finalized. 
You'll receive your certificates in the mail with your report cards in a few weeks. Please be sure to check the newspaper and our Kula website as your achievement will also be honored publicly there. Uh, Aloha and thank you for joining our Trimester 3 Awards. I just want to close out the school year by congratulating everyone for pushing through these hard times because I know this year was rough and hard on everyone. Thank you guys for making this school year so memorable, especially my eighth grade class. I look forward to spending more years and building strong relationships with you guys in high school. Have a great summer and stay out of trouble. Mahalo. Thank you, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.